Here's our new expansion controllers for the OM RGB in the block. Um, I have two examples here, I have the 4K4F and 4K2JS. Uh, the naming convention is just to signify uh, what controls are on these. Uh, we have multiple uh, variations uh, of these expansion controllers. Um, they're really nice because they expend, extend the uh, capabilities of your controller without actually having to add another USB device. Um, they tap into the brain of the uh, OM RGB in the block. Um, and uh, with a simple ribbon cable and really extend the possibilities of control and customize your setup. Uh, the first one I'm going to demo is the 4K 4F. Um, this is a four knob, four fader expansion controller. It has the same faders and knobs that we have on our uh, OM RGB and block and it connects uh, directly to the controller and just adds to the possibilities of control here. So to connect it, um, you're going to need to locate the expansion jack of your OM RGB or block uh, and it's just a simple ribbon cable connection. Um, there's also dip switches here. Uh, if you have uh, eight controls, there's eight uh, dip switches. You want them all to be in the open position, which is up. Um, the reason that this dip switch is here, for example, if you weren't using our controllers and you just wanted to hack in an analog control like a sensor or something, you can use a ribbon cable to do that. And if you only had one control, you'd only have one dip switch up. So I'm going to demo uh, the 4K4F with, uh, uh, with live. Um, it, you don't have to use it with live. You can use it with pretty much any software that supports uh, MIDI performance software, recording software, visual software. Uh, but I'm just going to do a quick live demo um, because it's an easy and uh, very used piece of software with our controllers. So to connect it, locate the expansion port, take the uh, ribbon cable and plug it in. And it's as simple as that. It's totally plug and play, so now I'm ready to go. Uh, here I'm using our own mode script uh, for Ableton Live. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, launch a clip. And the way I have this set up, I have some extra effects set up on here. Um, so I have some EQ here. I have some extra effects set up here for my drum. So I have extra the devices set up here. So this is just my like separate little device controller here. So here you can see just some real basic uh, extra control you can get uh, from these expansion controllers. With the 4K 2JS controller, I'm running Grand VJ. I'm going to show you how you can use these joysticks uh, to give you um, some extra control. The 4K 4JS uh, has four knobs and two joysticks. The joysticks work like XY um, controls. They are similar to the uh, PS, uh, the PlayStation joysticks. Um, and it's really nice because they're in this cool form which is just big enough for your hand so you can pick it up and have uh, some really nice control. Um, you hook it up the same exact way you would hook up the other expansion module. You just plug it right in. And now I am ready to run. Uh, our, our cast has a template for the ohm, um, so it's really nice and it's plug and play. Um, so here I'm just triggering clips. And what I'm going to do is use this uh, device here for, for some effects control. So I'm going to trigger an effect and you can see here um, using these controls I have um, really cool uh, physical control over how the effect works. Um, I'm going to trigger some different effects here just to give you an idea of how you would use it. Um, so really what it does is give you four extra controls because you have X, Y in both directions and they work together. Um, so depending on what effect you have, um, here's just some, you know, these are just real basic examples. You could use it with, you know, um, pretty much any 
um, any software. Uh, I'm just using it with our chaos here. You could use it with Live, Tractor, Reason, um, Renoise, FL Studio, Cell DNA. Um, but this was a real basic example. We have a lot of our chaos users out there. Um, so this is another way you could use the expansion controllers. Um, these are just two examples. We're going to be releasing multiple expansion controllers, uh, and you can use you can use you can only use one at a time, but you can have multiple controllers. So if you want to switch your controls on the fly, you can unplug your uh, device and plug it in a new device and have uh, a total customized setup.